And welcome back. I do apologize for the technical difficulties that we did have earlier, but in today's What's Driving You Crazy, a segment in which you, the viewer, gets to tell me your concerns about anything involving the roadways, we address Rosie Z's Facebook comment. She writes, unfinished construction all over EP. They don't finish an area when they are starting another one. Well, I spoke with Lauren Macias Cervantes with the Texas Department of Transportation to ask why do multiple road projects happen at the same time? She says there are currently more than 70 textile road projects in El Paso and says because each project is unique, many projects have to take place at the same time and explains the process that happens before and during road projects. all attached to uh, different funding. Uh, it might be safety lighting, uh, for example, that's tied to safety funds. Uh, the projects are also on different timelines um, and attached to different priorities. It includes uh, planning, any environmental uh, improvements. Uh, then comes uh, design development, contract letting, contractor selection, and then finally construction. Macias Cervantes says once a road project is approved, numerous studies have to be done which can last years before a project can even start. A study uh, is usually uh, needed when there is new roadway or there's a change in the footprint, we're adding capacity. We've got to look at uh, any environmental changes. You know, perhaps there's a protected plant species or animals, uh, then we have to make sure that that's taken care of uh, before any uh, road work. Uh, takes place. When studies are done, crews can then start on preparation for road work. For that final uh, concrete and then once uh, that's in place, you know, then comes uh, curing, striping, uh, raised pavement markers, uh, any lighting that might be needed, concrete barriers. Uh, so it's a process that takes time uh, because with all these materials and processes, there's also a time attached to it. Masia Cervantes says another step taken during planning for road projects are public meetings. We do encourage for people to participate in this phase of uh, the process because it's when they can tell us, you know, what they see, what changes they would like, and our, the feedback can actually make a difference in the future of that roadway. And just a reminder, not all road closures you come across are from TxDOT, but projects planned through the city, the county, El Paso Electric, and El Paso Water. If you would like to tell me what's driving you crazy, you can comment on my post on Facebook, on X, or email me at dgomez at kfoxtv.com.